you have a right to put yourself first sometimes. You have a right to make mistakes. You have a right to be the final judge of your feelings and accept them as legitimate. These are some of the rights and assumptions that our honorary enrichment woman, Hillary, has so graciously shared with the world. I actually copied these from Nala's set of rights and assumptions, and uh, they've kind of made their way through the line. Hillary is one of those people that you understand immediately is there to create the right kind of space and who's actually going to listen to what it is that you have to say. It's uh, no surprise that she and Nala are so close, nor that they dance so beautifully together when given the opportunity. And Hillary has just always impressed me with her nonverbal range. Um, you know, these are verbal cards, right? They're telling you how to act and ask for what you need in, you know, in, in verbal situations. And Hillary spends so much time trying to learn and articulate these things because she feels and experiences so much on so many different levels. This is the kind of person who is able to communicate non-verbally with her significant other simply by placing two different pillows around the house to give each other an understanding of where things are moving well or not so well for them in any given area. Hillary joined our enrichment conversation several years in we were having a conversation after fording a river one day, visiting Jaya's in uh, Maryville, Tennessee, and Hillary had been napping on a hammock and she just walked in. And it's so funny how everyone's banter back and forth. We just sort of been cross-talk, exchanging ideas. The moment Hillary walked into the room and sat down, the whole dialogue just sort of became uh, more ordered. Uh, each woman began taking turns expressing a few thoughts and then passing the, the speaker's um, uh, role around the circle. And that's just sort of the, the automatic effect that Hillary has on a group of people. I'm so grateful for having Hillary in my life because she teaches me about uh, the skill of listening which is one of the hardest skills that I've ever attempted to learn. I'm far from mastering it, and it's something I'll take an entire lifetime to work on, I'm sure. But with processing partners like Hillary, I know I've got a fighting chance. So with that, I would like to welcome Hillary into our enrichment circle.